Hello YouTube, welcome back. I'm getting ready to get started on the hearse for the mayor for the uh, cemetery Christmas Nightmare Before Christmas display that I'm doing. My game plan is to use a few of these uh, lightweight uh, wood sheets so this way I can try to keep it as light as possible. Uh, my plan is to lay them on their side so they're gonna end up, the thing will probably be eight feet long but at that point it'll only be four foot tall so I'll be taking another sheet and ripping it down to probably somewhere between 18 to 20 inches just so I can get it closer to a little over five feet tall by the time everything's said and done. Because when you kind of look at the one in the movie, it looks very tall, you know, uh, especially with the mayor sitting in there. So I kind of want to give it the best look possible. I do have some reference pictures that I'll be working off of because uh, I want to try to get it as accurate as I possibly can. You know, like with most of my stuff, I try to get it as accurate as possible. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be spot on, but, you know, I'm going to do the best I can. My game plan is to use those reference pictures and just, you know, measure out, draw my lines. Kind of get the shape that I'm going for and then cut everything all out and then just start screwing everything together. So uh, let's see how well this works out and let's get started. All right, so I got it all traced out. I used the marker. I only uh, uh, essentially made the lines bold uh, of the ones that I need to cut out. Some of the other lines, like say like this one right here, this one, this one, those I'm gonna have to do kind of like a trim to kind of give the look of the different levels from here to here to here and that kind of stuff. The next step is going to be I'm going to take the two sheets, I'm going to screw them together so they're nice and even, so I'm going to cut them both out at the exact same time. Same with that piece. Now that piece is obviously, because of that weird cutout, wasn't big enough, so I'm going to have to put that piece, I'll have to put that piece, and I'll get it all cut, and I'll just put a piece uh, behind it and, you know, anchor it all together. But it's going to come a little short. It's going to be kind of like right here, so I'll have to work with it. But it might work out pretty good because this whole section has to be cut out anyways because of the uh, window, so... I'm going to go ahead and start screwing together and start cutting it out. All right, I got both sides cut out. I kind of goofed up a little bit. I was supposed to leave the wheel on there, uh, but for some reason I had it in my head that I needed to cut the wheel well out. So now I'm gonna have to figure out how to uh, rework that, but it is what it is, it's already cut. So I'll just keep on moving forward. The next step is to uh, run some one by twos around the whole perimeter to kind of create a framework. And then I have one more sheet that'll rip it uh, three feet wide. So this thing will end up being three feet wide when I'm done. And then all my drop pieces will be for like the smaller sections. So let's start working on that. All right, so I got uh, all the wood screwed to them. You can see where I kind of cut the nose pieces off. That's because there's a slight transition from one piece to the next piece. So I uh, cut that off so I can make that transition. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the main frame, the main portion at the three foot mark. And then I'll start scabbing these front pieces in and then uh, hopefully uh, this thing will start taking shape. Alright, I had to pause the camera for a minute and lean it against the bench so I could get, you know, this front piece right here on and that back piece on because I couldn't get it to stop wanting to do this number. So now they got those on there plus the top, it's now squared everything up. Now I can continue working on the nose piece and then add a bunch of extra filler pieces and then kind of find a way to box off the back side where the uh, mayor is going to sit and move forward going to show real fast how I'm doing the transition between the two. You can see where I have the 2 by that I screwed to the uh, mainframe. I have that board that's going across and I put another 2 by 4 on there that's set a little bit back and then I'll be able to put that other piece on. I'll show that real quick. Alright, so here I am with the uh, front end. I had some PVC pipes uh, for the headlights because in the picture I'm using it shows that it kind of has some headlights and this is much much further in than that. You can see where I just uh, you know used blocks of wood to stair step each piece. So and then obviously I made sure these pieces went all the way down so it's giving a lot of uh, you know rigidity you know this way. Uh, next is going to be to build a rib for here, a rib for here, put these pieces on then after I put those pieces on, I got some ribs to put up here to support this. And then I'm going to cut some thin strips that are going to come up and go around to kind of make it look a little bit more like a window frame on the front and the back. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do inside as far as blocking this back off. So when I put the uh, mirror right there, you don't see the back half. And then I'll figure out if I'm going to maybe hang some curtains in here, just some fabric just to kind of close it up or what I'm going to do, and then it will be painted black, so uh, keep on working at it. Alright, so I got the uh, the ribs put in place. I got a backer piece right here, so everything's all tied together nice and, you know, solid feeling. I got my piece on the top here to, you know, kind of create my window frame, and now you see it, it really stiffened everything right up. I got the 2 by on the back for the same thing. Now this one, you see I kind of ran at an angle because my one by stopped here and here. So what I did is I tied it in, you know, here and here. And what I do is I'll add a piece of wood right there to kind of finish the slope off. And I'll add a small piece down here to kind of create the window frame in the back. The next is to start working on this. Now I don't know if the wood is going to work. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna bend, you know, the stuff that I'm using, but I have two different items over here. One is that poly wall stuff that I used for the, you know, the coffin that was half in and half out of the ground very pliable then I have this sheet right here which is only like an eighth inch and that's really pliable too uh, I'm, I'm gonna try that one first because uh, I want to make sure it still stays somewhat rigid and this is all gonna be painted anyways if that doesn't work then I'll go to that right there but I need to save enough of that to make the, uh, the mayor's um, you know head because it kind of looks like a lampshade so I'm gonna cut that and kind of create his head out of that so but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that next all right, I got my first piece cut. Now I left it a little long, so it gives me a little bit to uh, kind of play with, you know, so I don't cut it too short. So let's see how this uh, first piece goes on. As long as this goes on as good as I'm hoping, uh, hopefully the rest will. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and come back to that top part. And uh, the other two are uh, don't have as much crown 
to them as the top one does. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get the other two done with the wood. And the top, maybe I'll take some of that curve out of it. The only downside to that poly wall stuff is, you know, it is a form of a PVC and, and it's only a 16th of an inch thick. So once it gets out there in the sun and the heat, you know, even though I paint it, it's gonna kind of buckle and kind of that kind of stuff. So I might just take some of the crown out of that and be done with it. So, but for now, I'm gonna see if I get the other two done and go from there. All right, next thing I'm gonna work on right now is the wheel well area. There's like a, you know, where it has like a little step out. So I gotta go around the wheel wells, across the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I've already traced out four of these on two by. So this way it'll be an inch and a half wide. And then after I put those in place, then I will take uh, my drop piece that I have left over, which is right here. I'll rip that directly in half. And that's what'll make up you know, the rest of it as it goes this way in between each layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut and start getting ready to put those on. Okay, I got the first side cut. Now this is all based off a uh, reference picture that I'm using. You can see uh, where it kind of, the bumper doesn't go all the way around, just kind of like tapers up, goes around the wheel wells, goes back, and then it kind of feathers down at the back. Then it has a, just like almost looking like a piece of pipe on the back for a rear bumper. So I have to uh, make something like that, but I got the first side uh, mocked up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side mocked up, and then I'll uh, screw it to it. And I have a lot of little gaps that I'm gonna have to fill, like right here, because the way my taper is. So I'm just gonna do like that uh, that funny little saying, do your best and caulk the rest. And uh, once it's all painted, you're never gonna see it anyways. All right, show the progress where I'm at. I got uh, both running boards in place and caulked into position. I went ahead and I got the front window uh, framed out. I also put a little overhang on the roof here. Uh, the picture I have kind of shows a little bit of an overhang, so I went ahead and did something like that. Uh, I have a piece of wood that I put back here. All that does, and that just made the whole thing nice and rigid. This thing ha has absolutely zero back and forth sway now. Got the back window also framed out. So the next step is gonna be to paint the whole thing black. I'm gonna hang some black curtains in here. I gotta put the cat on the front of it, figure out what the grill look like so I can do something for the grill. And then uh, make the horn for the top. And then all that'll be left after that is to uh, make the mare uh, to sit inside of it. All right, I was kind of looking at some extra pictures just to kind of see uh, where I'm at. Uh, and some of the other pictures I'm noticing is this front section has a lot more taper to it And I feel I made this way too boxy looking uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of disassemble uh, this front section here and Kind of get a little more taper to it and make this grill area a little bit smaller So this way it looks a little bit more accurate I guess you can say and then I noticed on some of the pictures There is a small window here That's got to go there uh, he has red curtains, so I'm gonna have to get some red uh, fabric instead of the black I picked up. And the back window is completely wrong. So I'm gonna have to essentially put a whole new piece on here. It just has a small window here, and he has a little lights on either side. So I'm gonna have to redo all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on uh, the front because I gotta pick it, I gotta pick something up for there anyways. So I'm gonna start tinkering with this front and see if I can make it look a little bit better. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so that's a little more like the character that it would be. So uh, I, t I tapered each end in uh, four inches, and then I'm all, then the centerpiece. I'm gonna drop that, um, whatever I need to drop it for the uh, lights to be on either side, and then I uh, will start reassembling. All right, so what I had to do here, because I got to keep the fender flares going in the line, the straight line they needed to. So I just built a wedge piece right here. Now I'm just gonna take some 
like maybe that poly wall stuff because it'd be good right here and make it to where it fits this and goes all the way to the uh, you know the side here and then just caulk it all in so but now i got all that part done i'm gonna go ahead and uh, redo the uh front grill area all right i got it back together that is definitely much better definitely has a little more you know cartoonish look to it uh than it did before so i still got to finish this part uh other than that and obviously the back window and then uh, i'll be pretty much uh, about ready to start doing some paint very shortly here all right i went ahead and caulked all the seams now what i did it here it's kind of the same thing i did with the bust you know where i just took the caulking and built it up with caulking see where i just kind of use the caulking to create that area right there uh it'll be just like the bust in a day or so it'll be skinned up enough to where when i paint it, it's not going to hurt it now it might not be cured all the way through for a few days but it's not going to really hurt anything because i still have to uh get that back right there done first and then i kind of want to build uh the mayor before i actually uh uh paint it just in case i gotta make some kind of adjustments anyway so it'll probably be a few days before it actually gets painted and by that point that stuff will be dry enough to where i don't think i'll have an issue so but this is where i'm at with it right now all right i'm pretty much just about done with it i got the uh, little window cut out right there i did a little reinforcing just to make sure it doesn't didn't weaken that board i got the back window redone now the panel i put on the back is not glued on it's not fixed uh it's meant so i could take it back off the reason why is because once everything's all painted black i got to get in here and hang the curtains so this way i can get in there i can pull this off get in there hang all my curtains you know staple the curtain to this and i can literally just put this right back on uh so this way i can crawl through that opening but now to start working on the mirror and hopefully get this painted very shortly and get this one finished up all right, I'm getting ready to start working on the mare. I just decided just to get a, a lampshade to do this. You see, I got some tape on it, uh, so I have a nice straight line for the two-sided. Uh, one side, I'm just gonna paint it with this paint right here. Uh, and then the other side, just gonna stay the white color because uh, it's kind of a peach on one side, white on the other side. So I'm gonna start painting that. And then I have a mannequin bust uh, that I'm gonna use for the body of him. And I'm just gonna add some extra wire to the bottom to kind of give it that flared out look like he has. And then I'm going to build a, essentially a stand uh, that'll allow him to essentially sit right inside there. So I just pop him in there when I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, painting this and uh, see how well this goes. All right, now that that's painted, I'm going to let it sit out in the sun for a little bit and dry. And I'm going to work on uh, the bust portion of it. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to use uh, to make the hat. All right, so what I got going on here, uh, like I, said, I got this mannequin bust right here. Uh, I just, uh, you know, made sure I, you know, just took it off the legs. And on the bottom here, it has a nice spot where I got put a piece of half inch uh, conduit. So what I did is I measured it all out and figured that it's about 30 inches tall. If I held it about 20 inches from the ground up, that'll give me close to 50 inches, which puts them kind of in this area. Leaves still plenty of room uh, for to be seen well and to be able to put a little bit of a hat on it. So what it is, I built this uh, contraption right here. Uh, the purpose in this is when this sits inside the car, this part is uh, where the mannequin's gonna sit on and I can uh, probably find some way to anchor it on there a little bit better. If not, uh, just with the the uh, conduit will hold in place. And then the rest of it, I'll put a piece of wood from there to the back right there. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create the bench to make it look like the rest of the bench where he's not sitting. And the rest of it right here, the jacket will come down far enough to where it's going to hide this little perch right here. Because from the ground up, that was my 20 inches. But I wanted to make sure this didn't come higher than the side of the car because then it would look goofy. So I had to do it in this manner uh, just so I can kind of, I guess you can say, conceal it and kind of make it look like it's part of the car and not just like some afterthought thrown in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that screwed in and uh, go from there. All right, so I got the... Uh... The mannequin and the thing just sitting in there for the moment you see where i just kind of made it look like a you know just a bench in there i got to make him a little more stable somehow you see it's uh kind of rocks a little bit 
But other than that, I just gotta uh, get ready to start painting the face and uh, paint the whole car. Now they got the platform done, uh, I can go ahead and paint the car. Like I said, I didn't want to paint that till I got done with that part, just case. Because right now, uh, when I paint, obviously I'm gonna paint everything at one time, so the whole thing's all blacked out. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna start some painting. waiting for that to dry I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the face start off with some pencil just to kind of get the basic outline of the one side and then the other side so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, painting this real fast all right I got the face all painted the colors are based on uh, the few pictures that I could find so I got that side and we got that side the next is uh, gonna be uh, mounting it to the bust that I have sitting inside there. Obviously you can see it's still in the process of drying so I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot with it for the rest of the night. But I, want, I wanted to get this done so uh, next is gonna be making a small hat and then I gotta make the horn for the roof, hang the curtains and a couple other little things and this one will be done. Couldn't help myself. I wanted to put the character inside there just to see what it kind of looks like as overall, you know, proportion wise, height and everything. Now, obviously, I still got some dry time going on here, so it's not fully ready to do much else with it. I also probably going to see if I can find myself a much larger jacket so I can fill it out some more because the character is a much larger character in the movie. But if I can't find one, then I'm just going to leave it as is. But uh, next, I'm going to make a small hat for it, uh, hang some curtains, make the horn, try to find some good pictures of what the grill looked like, put the cat on there. And uh, I'm pretty much going to consider this one a wrap. I'm not going to put any kind of wheels on it because where it's going to be sitting, it's just going to be sitting there anyways. You're not really gonna, that's not something that's going to be really be seen being in the dark and all that stuff. So I'm not going to bother wor worrying about doing anything about wheels. I'm just going to kind of prop it up a little bit. But here we are so far. All right, here we go again. I went on the movie itself and... Uh, you know, fast forwarded to areas where they're kind of showing the hearse because I, I was trying to get an idea of what the grill looked like, like how it was shaped, how it was painted and all that kind of stuff so I can make it look good and realize that uh, this front end area still is not quite right. Uh, the biggest thing is, is uh, the little reference picture that I was working off of was just kind of like it was a, like a toy, you know, kind of thing. And the, it, it kind of looked like the headlights were kind of shaped like that right there. In the movie, they're nothing like that. So I'm going to be kind of disassembling this front section a little bit, reworking that a little bit more, and reworking the headlights a little more uh, to make it look a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to be working on the rear lanterns that are on either side of that back window. And the fender wells are way too small based on what I saw in the movie. So I might just leave those alone just because they were already a pain to begin with to do. But if I really get spunky... I might change those as well, but for now I'm going to go ahead and rework that front just a pinch and work on those lanterns and see if I can finish this thing up. Okay, so I got the nose cone done. You see it definitely has a lot more taper inward. I also raised the center up a little higher and then I also tapered it this way so it looks a lot more like the uh, the picture that I uh, uh, took on from the movie when I paused it. Uh, I changed the, uh, the lights. I found these little bowls right here that have like these little covers uh, that snap on, which is going to be good because what I'm going to do is in the movie I noticed that these, the headlights look like uh, uh, pumpkins. So I'm going to paint the back side of this and make it look like a pumpkin, put a little tea light in there, and then when I put this back on, you know, then it'll, it'll kind of look like they're kind of lit up a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do, which obviously if I don't stop changing my mind on stuff, I'm never going to get done. I didn't like the mannequin for the mayor. It just, there's no way I was gonna give it that look that it needed to be. So I'm in the process of building this right here. So you can see where I got the nice wedge shaped taper that the uh, mayor has. So what I did is the top one is the same diameter as the lampshade. I just stuck it on there, traced it around. The bottom is cut to 20 inches, you know, overall. Uh, then just a bunch of two by fours with a 15 degree angle 
uh, to create that so I can have a little bit of body to it. I'm probably in the, uh, especially in the front, you know, because I want to make sure it looks okay. I'm probably gonna put masking tape across there, kind of like I did on my uh, grave, my groundskeeper guy, to kind of give it a little bit of a solid look so the fabric doesn't try to go in between them. Heavy duty baling wire and spoon noodles for the arms. And I don't have a tuxedo or anything that's gonna fit this thing, but I have like an old witch's dress. And it's very stretchy. So I'm gonna drape that over it so that it has a look. And I'll either come back with some white fabric and kind of create like that little V area where you can see his undershirt with the spider uh, where his bow tie would be. And then I'll put the uh, the like mayor um, red ribbon uh, on him as well. So let's see how well this works out. All right, and for my next trek here, uh, this is gonna be the lanterns for the back. Uh, it's just a cheap little $6 bird feeder. Uh, what I'm gonna do is it's a nice six-sided one. Uh, it can give me a, a perfect line right here where I'm gonna cut this directly in half right here. And then same thing with this, I'll cut it you know, right on these seams all the way down to the bottom. I'll, I'll take off this perch stuff here. I'll cut it down all the way to the bottom here so it's nice and flat. Then I'll take a piece of wood and run a piece of wood across the inside right here uh, on either side of it, so that'll give me my back piece that I can screw it to the uh, back of the hearse. And then I'll take masking tape, and I'll put masking tape on here and tape this off in such a way to make it look like the glass. And then once I paint it all black, peel the masking tape off, screw it to the back of the hearse. Uh, these will be uh, my lanterns. So, next step is to cut that and get that done. Alright, so I got the uh, lanterns ready to go on the... Uh, back of the uh, hearse and then I just got to paint the part black that needs to be black so essentially they're gonna go right on here just like this uh, the picture shows them almost going to the top and then once I paint them and everything will look pretty good and then uh, I have it set up to where these are gonna be screwed on uh, so this way if I wanted to this piece that's still I, that I left on here I could always put a light bulb in there like maybe get one of those uh, solar lights or something like that put a little LED here and make it light up later on down the road. That's why I'm gonna screw it to it and not actually make it like a permanent fixture. But all I gotta do is uh, anchor those up and paint them. All right, so I got the lanterns put on here. Uh, you see I got everything painted. Right now the paint's still wet, so I'm not gonna peel the masking tape off until that's dry. But I got both those on there. Uh, you see I've uh, got some red fabric. So I got the red fabric on there uh, all the way around. I've also got uh, him pretty much done. I still got to do the little spider on him and the uh, the little red ribbon that goes on there. So I got his hat on him. Uh, you know that's still drying as well. Got a little, just a little bit to do with him still. I still got to finish up, you know, the little pool noodle area and all that kind of stuff and all that. I got the nose cone repainted, uh, so that's all painted. Waiting for that to dry. Next, I'm going to be building a grill that's going to go on it to kind of give it like a little more of a three-dimensional kind of look like the one that's in the movie. And then I'm going to be painting those little plastic pieces that kind of like that pumpkin thing I was talking about. So I still got to paint those. And then I got to do some uh, grays, almost silvers on it to kind of give it like the chrome moldings that the one in the movie has. And then just got the horn. And I will be calling this one a wrap. All right, I'm getting ready to work on the horn. Now this is kind of like a Slimer thing I made for my 21 display. That's what I had hanging up for the uh, Ghostbusters to catch. You can see where I was able to draw it out. Uh, I'll probably have to fill this in with some caulking, depending on how I shave it. But I should be able to make that horn out of that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting that up. All right, to kind of show what I'm doing here, I got the, you know, the basic horn shaped out, but I gotta find a way to make it to where I can su support it up on the roof. So what I did is I cut this part off, cut it in half, and I took my torch and I heated this pipe up and stuck it in here. So what that's gonna do is once I glue this into here and then glue this back on the face of it, I'll drill the hole inside here. So this will go all the way to it. I'll put some caulking around it and then I'll be able to take a two by four on the bottom side of the roof where you won't see it, drill the hole, stick that in there. And that's essentially what's gonna support the horn from you know falling, sagging or breaking in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that finished up. Show the uh, progress I've made so far. I got the front grill, headlights, bumper, cat, all put on. 
I'm still uh, waiting for caulking to dry on that so I could paint that with the black and white stripes. I went ahead and uh, painted the, you know, trim and the uh, scrolls. Pulled the tape off of the lanterns. Pretty much all that's really left now is to uh, finish the horn. And I think I want to try to do something maybe with this gap that I have now that uh, was generated by building the new, you know, uh, stand for, uh, you know, the mirror there. So, but that's where I'm at at the moment. All right, I wasn't originally going to do wheels, but it's starting to get a little heavy and it's going to be a little awkward trying to get this thing out to the front yard. So what I'm doing is I have these uh, big metal wheels or you know just a set of casters i just took them off the bracket and uh it worked out perfectly with the wheel wells that i decided to leave on there that with a two by ran across the bottom here from the top here where i could put a bolt it'll put the wheel almost perfectly centered in this uh wheel well right here and i have it down far enough to where the wheel will be nice and flush with it right there so the next step is to run something from you know here all the way across that I can use to put the wheel on. I'm probably just going to use a piece of uh, pipe and then weld a bolt on the end of it that I can put a, you know, like a washer and nut on and then um, paint the bottom black so it's protected, put the wheels on, and then um, a few last little details and then I'll be done with this. Just to show what I did, because this isn't going to be bearing any weight or anything like that. It's more or less just so I can roll it. As you see, I got my two by fours. I did have to space it down an extra three quarters of an inch. I just use those, um, you know, those uh, pipe anchors, you know, they use them for like electrical conduit and stuff like that. Ran a screw into here, put it on here, and then once I tighten these all up, that'll keep it from moving up and down. And then I will, I'm right now I have everything loose. Uh, and then all I got to do is just tighten everything down, put the wheels on it, and that will uh, give me the ability to roll it. I'm going to go ahead and consider this one to be done. Next step is to uh, take it out and set it in the display uh, where I want it to be. Now the hose right there, I purposely left that orange so you so it would stand out a little bit so you can see where he's kind of looking into like the microphone like he's talking through the bullhorn. Now I made a couple last minute uh, touches to this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. They work off this remote right here. Got headlights. I got... Tail lights, and then I took some old candles, stuck them in there, and I got little candles inside there. And then the icing on the cake, I put a motor on it so his head turns, just like it does in the movie. So you see both sides of his, uh, his faces essentially. The only thing really left that I have to do is I got to find a spider that goes on his shirt right there and the little red ribbon that he has right there that says mayor on it. Those are the only two things left, which are, you know, kind of minor. I'm, I can go to the store and pick up a red ribbon and I'm pretty sure I have a spider somewhere in my Halloween stuff. But other than that, I feel that this one's done, ready to be put in the display. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.